Normally I would uh, write this down on some paper, get ready for this, you know. Um, so that way I could just read it right off the bat and not have to worry about too much editing. But after reading some of the lectures in this class, I found out that sometimes the best stories <coughs> excuse me, are told through your heart and your memories. Just piecing it together. Not lying, but just as you go, remembering bits and pieces that are important to you. It really shows the audience how much it means to you rather than just reading it word for word on a paper you wrote. So I'm going to give this a shot. Love is an interesting thing. I believe that you, as you get older, come to understand and appreciate it a lot more than you would when you're in middle school or high school. Because at that point, during those days, it, it was like on and off. Just like <laughs> couples were breaking up and getting together like it was nobody's business. It's just stupid. But as you're old, when you get older, in college, out of college, I feel as though relationships are much more than that. And they mean a lot more. And they last longer. Just recently, no, not just recently, six to seven months ago, I tried out this one website, you know, the one of thousands of websites that you could go on to make friends or look for partners and relationships and stuff like that. Um, just to kind of like network and expand. Uh, I have friends in real life, so it was just me trying to... I'm on my computer a lot, so I thought, hey, might as well check it out and see if I can make any more online friends, um, especially those that are foreign. Um, there wasn't too many individuals that caught my eye as far as partners, but I was getting to know a lot of people just to talk to them and share common interests. There's a few guys that, you know, we were like, cool, you know. We play the same games, and we got onto Discord with each other, and that was cool. Um, but right around September, I set, that's when I kind of like started on the website. There was this one girl, because all these websites also, you know, when you're looking for a relationship, they also make it so that, you know, here's your recommendations, you know, people that might fit you. Uh, and I thought it was weird because one person that fit me was from Russia. And I was just like, huh? Um, but I started talking to her and I didn't think too much of it because, like I said, she was from Russia. And it was just... Like, I'll talk to her, you know, get to know her. We could be friends. Um, it wasn't, like I said, wasn't really noticing too much um, for other partners. Uh, so I was talking to her and I was t trying to, like, expand more in the U.S. just to see if there's anybody closer to me. Um, but it was interesting because the more we started talking... Her name's Victoria. The more we started talking, the more I got got to know her. The more feelings grew that I wasn't expecting. And we she told me about her, you know, history, her life. <laughs> Okay, I told her about my history and my life, you know, and I feel as though I could really open up to her and she can open up to me. And I forgot the name of the website because a while back, like 
three, four months ago, we walked away from the site and we communicate through um, Instagram as well as this other messaging app. Um, and we video chat each other. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm still friends with some of the guys that we would play games with on Discord, so I, I didn't leave too much behind. But we were just like, you know, hey, let's step away from this. So, like, like I said, as we're talking, she knew English. She's very Russian, but she knew a little bit of English going into it. So she was able to communicate with me, and the communication wasn't that hard. But there are times that I, it's hard to understand what she's saying. Um, I could piece it together as good as as best as I can, but um, I would have to say about three months in, um, three to four months in, I actually started looking for Russian classes online, not at the university, um, but like apps and other stuff that teach you Russian. And I gotta say, if I went back to myself at se in September and said, hey, you're going to know the uh, Cyrillic alphabet as well as a handful of words in Russian. I probably would have said to myself, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why? Um, but it, it's just, it's insane when I look back at it because I'm just like, if you would have showed me, if I went back to my old self and I showed myself a bunch of Russian words and letters, I would have been like, what, what does that stand for? But now I could actually read most words in Russian because I know the alphabet. As well as a handful of words because I've got like note cards here and stuff like that. Like, um, Yahoshesh Chai. I just said that I want tea. I mean, I, it's very basic stuff, but I look at it as stepping stones to be able to communicate with her better. Um, and one thing that shocked me the other day was when she was talking to me, I do speak in English a lot but, and we use translator sometimes, but she wanted me one day we were talking to each other. She said, don't use translator. And I thought she was going to hit me with, I want you to just speak Russian. And I'm like, oh crap, <laughs> I'll give it a shot. But she actually turned around and said, I want you just to speak English. I don't want you to use translator for words that I don't understand. I want you to speak English and use basic words so I can try and learn more. And I really thought that was awesome. I was like, um, okay. So I just started speaking very basic English, slow sentences, so that way she can kind of piece it together and understand me more. And I plan hopefully for her birthday to be able to, um, know enough Russian where I could say that back to her and say, hey, I want you to only speak Russian to me. Slow, so I can try and piece it together, but I would love to carry out a Russian conversation with you. Um, like I said, I never thought I would learn Russian. I thought I would never care to learn Russian. <laughs> um, but here I am with flashcards and learning as I go. Um, we're always trying to stay in contact with each other. Um, one thing that I did that kind of shocked her was uh, around Valentine's Day, I said that I wanted to send her something and she just said no because she thought it would be hard and it would just take way too long. But knowing me and how good I am at researching stuff online and really hunting down solutions to problems. I found this website that has bases all throughout Europe and stuff where you could buy from the US, purchase something online from the US and they will sh and they're based since they're based in Europe, they will send it to wherever you need it to go. Um so for Russia and for example, they're based they have a base in Moscow. She lives right around the Siberian region, um, but they're based in Moscow, and I just put in an order for flowers. You know, they have a bunch of stuff on this website that you can do, and I just did the basic Valentine's Day um, 
presence. Uh, a teddy bear and a there was this like gold rose. Um, and then I also just did a poem for her, which I'm not a big poem person. I don't really do too much with poems, but I actually came up with one that I that I really just came up with it just thinking about it like okay what can I what poem could I say that would be really awesome and I mean I'll I still have it so I'll read it off for you guys here but um it's uh if if you were my flower I would always smile if you were my heart I would live forever if you were my star I would never be lost if you were my son, I would never run out of energy. If you were my universe, I would be with you always. Only if. And like I said, I'm not big with poems and stuff like that. But she, a while back, she also told me that she used to write poetry as well. And she's, she, she's a talented girl. I will admit that. She's done a lot of sports with weights and lifting and stuff like that um and the thing is you wouldn't be able to tell that because she's just so um not really slim but you, when she flexes it just like comes out of nowhere you know like what where's that coming from <laughs> you know so it's just like a person you wouldn't want to mess with because you would think oh this girl can't protect herself but she would probably knock you out <laughs> um she also is a great singer and she draws and I draw she plays some video games um, she likes Marvel I like Marvel uh, her favorite superhero is Wolverine mine spider-man but uh Wolverine's cool too um, when we argue about stuff, I don't really win too much of the arguments <laughs> because I don't know. She always finds a way to, uh, I don't want to say prove me wrong, but she does find a way to, uh, get the upper hand, <laughs> but I never really worry about, about it too much because I, I'm an easygoing guy. I understand. And it's like, oh yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, And also, another thing she likes doing is, since I'm not 100% Russian yet, if we get into an argument, she'll go off in Russian. So <laughs> I won't understand what she's saying. Uh, there are a couple of swear words that she's taught me that she can, that she'll say, that I'll be like, oh, okay, I, I know exactly what she's saying. <laughs> but um, most of it is just like, okay, yep. I pissed her off. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've been talking for seven months now. Um, like I said, her birthday's in July. And I hope to be in good enough in Russian where I could be able to have a full-blown conversation with her. Um, and I also made her a promise that hopefully at the end of this year, in December... Because I, I took a bunch of pictures of, you know, my house with the Christmas lights and she thought it was just the best thing ever. Um, as well as I, a video of the ball dropping and she just thought, you know, that's that seems so cool. And I made a promise that hopefully or I will either get her here next December to spend Christmas with me and New Year's. Um, and I, I'm going to try and hold true to that promise as best as I can. Um, but sometimes you'll do what you can for the ones you love. And I hope I can be the best I can be to be able to make her the happiest woman in the world and make her life that much better 